Action Riders, this is Deidre Huey with Action Rider Tag, and I wanted to come to you today with a question that we got asked on our Facebook page. You can ask this question anytime, and we'll make sure we get an answer to you. But we thought this was something that everybody could benefit from. The question really had to do with certification for helmets, hence I'm wearing my helmet today. Uh, so what is the difference between a certification that says ASTM slash SEI and ASTM without the SEI, and it may be followed with something like F1163. The helmet I'm wearing right now, this is by Equitheme, and it is ASTM1163, which is actually the most common standard used by the sanctioning organizations in the United States, and that is, again, ASTM F1163. Now, this standard defines performance criteria, I mean, how well is it going to work? And it also defines testing methods for the helmet. In the United States, you can also submit a, your helmet, a manufacturer can submit their helmet for further testing by the Safety Equipment Institute, hence SEI. Uh, the helmet manufacturers voluntarily submit a sample uh, of each model and size of the helmet, and that way the SEI can do simulated crash testing. And they use testing methods defined by the ASTM standard. So if the samples pass the test, then the producers can label their helmets of the same model and size to indicate that the helmet has been ASTM slash SEI certified. So the question then becomes, is one better than the other? Well, actually both are certified. It just means that somebody has gone one step further and instead of testing their own helmets, they've had an outside institution test their helmets. Again, that's the Safety Equipment Institute. And then they have this multiple certification. Now, Organizations that certify safety equipment, like the Safety Equipment Institute, just to let you know, they perform similar tests on all protective helmets, not just equestrian. So it might be hockey or bicycle helmets. And they do things like drop the helmet from onto an anvil, okay, um, maybe six feet up, and they do it from several different angles. And there are other tasks that they perform to indicate or to make sure they test particular risks. Now for equestrians, for example, for equestrian helmets, uh, they may include dropping the helmet onto an anvil that has a sharp angle. Now this would be to simulate impact on the edge of maybe a jump standard or of course a horse hoof. <laughs> that would hurt. Um, Europe on the other hand, has their own certification process. And helmets certified there have a certification of either an EN1384 or an EN14572, okay? Now, the major difference between ASTM and an EN certification honestly has to do with the ventilation areas. The debate centers over whether there is an actual need for protection from penetration from sharp objects. Um, in the United States, ASTM certification is very strict. As you can see from my helmet, very small ventilation areas. If you look at European helmets, for example, the LAS helmet, the LAS helmet, which I'm going to show you a picture of right now, huge ventilation areas. Um, again, because the ASTM wants to make sure you're protected from sharp objects, which if you're doing a lot of trail riding, you may want to make sure you consider that. But I hope this helps, and I hope that you understand much better about certification and what helmet you want to be using. This is Deidre Huey with Action Rider TAC, making sure we answer your questions in the equestrian world, helping you to be one with your horse. Take care.